Do you know how cholesterol builds up in our body? Let's dive into that. Cholesterol, often misunderstood, is actually crucial for our body's functions. It plays a vital role in producing hormones, vitamin D, and substances that help digest food. However, it doesn't travel alone. It moves through our bloodstream attached to proteins. This combination of proteins and cholesterol is called a lipoprotein. There are three types of lipoproteins that carry cholesterol throughout our body, low-density lipoproteins or LDL, and high-density lipoproteins or HDL and very low-density lipoproteins or VLDL. LDL is often referred to as bad cholesterol. Why? Well, when there's too much LDL cholesterol in the blood, it can combine with other substances to form plaque. This thick, hard deposit can clog arteries and make them less flexible, a condition known as atherosclerosis. On the other hand, HDL, or good cholesterol, helps return LDL cholesterol to your liver where it's flushed from the body. So, the accumulation of LDL cholesterol in our arteries is what we commonly call cholesterol buildup. This buildup LDL cholesterol in the blood can lead to various cardiovascular diseases. Now that we understand how cholesterol builds up, what can we do to reduce it? Let's dive into 10 effective tips that will help you keep your cholesterol levels in check. First, a well-balanced diet is key. Opt for foods low in saturated fats and high in fiber. Include plenty of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and fish. Second, regular physical activity is crucial. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week. This could be as simple as a brisk walk around your neighborhood or a fun dance class. Third, if you're a smoker, it's time to quit. Smoking lowers your body's good cholesterol and raises your bad cholesterol. It also damages your blood vessels, making them more prone to cholesterol buildup. Fourth, reducing alcohol consumption is beneficial. While moderate alcohol use can potentially increase your good cholesterol, too much can lead to serious health problems. Fifth, increasing your fiber intake can help lower your cholesterol levels. Foods like oatmeal, beans, apples, and pears are excellent sources of fiber. Sixth, incorporating omega-3 fatty acids into your diet can be beneficial. Foods rich in omega-3, such as salmon, mackerel, and flax seeds, can help lower your cholesterol. Seventh, maintaining a healthy weight is important. Being overweight or obese can raise your bad cholesterol and lower your good cholesterol. Eighth, managing stress effectively can also play a role in maintaining healthy cholesterol levels. Practices like meditation, yoga, or even a relaxing hobby can help keep stress at bay. Ninth, regular health checkups are vital. Regular monitoring of your cholesterol levels can help you keep track of your progress and make necessary adjustments to your lifestyle or treatment plan. And finally, reduce sugar intake towards nighttime. Bad cholesterol builds up at nighttime when you sleep. Unused sugar energy, or carbohydrate, turns into bad cholesterol at night. Try to exercise after eating dinner or eat small portion of food for dinner. And try not to sleep at least two hours after eating dinner. Remember, these lifestyle modifications can significantly reduce your cholesterol levels and improve your heart health. With these tips, you'll be on your way to a healthier, happier heart. But what if lifestyle changes aren't enough? Are there medications that can help? Yes, indeed there are. Over-the-counter medications like omega-3 known as fish oil, cholestoff, and niacin can be quite effective. These work by reducing the amount of cholesterol produced by your liver. However, it's critical to remember that these are not magic bullets. Prescription medications, including statins, phenofibrate, ezetimibe, and others, can be considered as a final option after attempting non-medicinal and over-the-counter approaches to lower bad cholesterol without success. It is advisable to consult healthcare professionals when these alternative methods have been exhausted. In summary, cholesterol buildup occurs when LDL cholesterol accumulates in our arteries. A balanced diet, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight are crucial. Prescription medications like statins, ezetimibe, and phenofibrate can also help. Over-the-counter options such as cholestoff and fish oil supplements can be beneficial. It's always best to consult your healthcare professional for personalized advice. We hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. Remember, your health is in your hands.